What's fun about Ant-Man is we're introducing key characters who have been in the books for years and who finally are finding their way into the cinematic universe. In the comics, Ant-Man was one of the original founders of the Avengers and one of the smartest people in the Marvel Universe. That's why it really felt like it was time to find a way to make Ant-Man now. These guys are in the business of top governments. To stop them, I need you to be the Ant-Man. The suit is the mechanism that allows Ant-Man to shrink. When you're small, you have superhuman strength. But I can also talk to ants. The Ant-Man puts on his ant suit and he presses one thing. He instantaneously goes to the size of an ant and we're in this other world. It's not just a guy in a suit who's incredible. It's a guy in a suit and legions of ants. So there are these scenes where we mobilize armies of ants of different shapes and sizes and abilities. The most exciting part about the spectacle is all the ants and ant man in action. They're amazing. All right, guys, let's fly. Woo! I'm getting good. I'm getting cocky. Hello, Valerie here with another So You Think You Know Movies and today it's Marvel Movies. Did you know that Captain America's to-do list in The Winter Soldier was changed for every country? Next up, in Guardians of the Galaxy, the dance moves for the dancing baby Groot were provided by director James Gunn. And sticking with Guardians, the inspirations for the character Star-Lord were a mix of Han Solo and Marty McFly. Let me know in the comments below if you knew these facts and download our Film Is Now app, available for both Android and iOS.